In today's topic, we would be discussing ICARUS. ICARUS, Economic Community of West African States, may be defined as a sub-regional organization formed to promote cooperation and development in all economic fields and contribute to the progress and development of the African continent. On 28 May 1975, heads of state and governments of 15 independent states of West Africa converged in Lagos, where they signed the treaty formally establishing ICARUS. That day was the finest in the post-independence history of West Africa. Member Countries The Economic Community of West African States has 16 member states, made up of 11 Francophone and 5 Anglophone countries. They are Nigeria, the Republic of Benin, Cape Verde, Côte d'Ivoire, Ghana, the Gambia, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Burkina Faso, Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Senegal, Sierra Leone, and Togo. Purpose and Mandate of ICARUS The main purpose of ICARUS is to promote cooperation and development in all economic fields and contribute to the African continent. Other objectives include Elimination of customs duties Abolition of trade restrictions Establishment of a common tariff Harmonization of agricultural policies Implementation of infrastructural policies The treaty signed provided the following organs The authority of heads of state and government, composed of all the 16 leaders of the member states, this is the supreme authority the Council of Ministers, made up of two ministers or representatives from each member state, it monitors the functioning and development of the community and makes recommendations to the authority. The Executive Secretariat in Abuja performs the functions of administering the community. The Tribunal of the Community, its main function is the interpretation of the treaty and ensuring the observance of law and justice. Five Technical and Specialized Commissions the Trade, Customs, Immigration, Monetary, and Payment Commission. The Industry, Agriculture, and Natural Resources Commission. The Transport, Communication, and Energy Commission. The Social and Cultural Affairs Commission. The Defense Commission. Advantages and Disadvantages of ACARS. Advantages of ACARS. Market expansion, increased opportunities for member nations to sell products across borders. Greater goods availability, access to a wider variety of goods from other member nations. Improved living standards, more affordable goods lead to better living conditions in West Africa. Free trade, facilitates cross-border trade among member states. Access to cheap labor, Article 27 allows citizens to work in any member state promoting labor mobility. Disadvantages of ACARUS Immigration issues, freedom of movement under Article 27 has led to an increase in illegal immigration. Rise in social vices The influx of community citizens has contributed to higher rates of crime, including armed robbery and religious conflicts. Language barriers, differences in language have impeded effective communication and cooperation. Increased smuggling, free movement within the community has worsened smuggling activities. Currency differences, the use of multiple currencies in the region has complicated trade and hindered the establishment of a common payment system. Solutions to ACARA's problems. Adopt a common currency, eliminates currency barriers. Embrace democracy, ensures regional stability. Improved transportation, enhances movement of goods and services across member states. Establish a common language, facilitates communication within the community. Promote free trade, reduce tariffs and customs duties to encourage trade. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.